Win this is World Championship. Please, clean boxing, touch gloves, and fool me my commands. Good luck. World title on the line in our co-main event. AJ Bunker, the champion, but seeks to avenge the loss to Elbrook, the challenger, Riley. This one's gonna be fireworks. This here. one is absolutely gonna be fireworks. Well, here comes AJ right on the front foot. She's in the black and red. Elbrook in the light purple and white. What I love about Elbrook's style is how she gauges with the left hand and then fires that cross right down the middle. Led her to so much success in the pair's first meeting, but like we talked about, this isn't the same AJ Bunker. She has sometimes trouble hanging out there a little bit too long. She puts the jab out and then stays there for a second. So I'm curious to see how, how she's adjusted with that, right, Ben? Because it's going to be about development. Yeah, they're both going to go in their guns blazing. Not a ton of technique. They just want to brawl. They don't like each other. Sometimes no time for analyzing or adjusting. It's just throw heat. And that's what AJ Parker wants to do. A lot of emotion in this fight leading up. And I think that we're seeing that here in the first round with a huge shots being landed. Good clinch by Brooke. Yeah, they're both smothering their punches, unfortunately. <laughs> Elbrook is smiling in there, maybe. She is, I would say, a little bit stronger, more physically imposing, but I'm loving the style and the approach from Bunker here. We have five rounds to work in this fight, championship fight, so bit, bit more time to work. Really, really fast start. I think conditioning is going to play a huge factor in this fight. Nice clean job there. Big connections on the inside. Elbrook ripping upstairs. Would love to see them start going to the body, right? Because it's such a long fight. Nice going right to the not bad. Scores for AJ. A sweeping right misses for Elbrook. And the referee's going to have his hands full all night with these two. Elbrook doing a good job of throwing the punches in tight. The referee's warning her with the elbows. Time call here. Wow. Wow. One point. Wow. That's big. Wow, that's pretty surprising to see so early in the well, fight. I didn't even think it was that egregious. I didn't <laughs> think so at all. Chase Demore in the back is smiling. Yes. <laughs> There's a right and a left hand for El Brook, who's already climbing up a hill with that point deduction. Good round for these two. Back here in Leeds, round one, a controversial one as L was deducted a point for holding. It's an interesting call. I mean, right at the beginning of this five round fight, taking a point, Riley, that could be big. I'm gonna go ahead and totally disagree with it as well. I didn't think she was holding much at all. I think that both of them were holding each other and he just kind of blamed Elbrook for it. But it is what it is and that can make a huge difference. When you get a point deducted so early in the fight, now it's in your head the whole time. Now you can't really get back to boxing because you're trying so hard not to clinch. That's basically like suffering a knockdown, at least points-wise. So even if L. Brook won that round, it was still a 9-9. Like I would say that A.J. Bunker's holding a lot more here, whereas L. Brook's kind of framing. Love getting active here. Love what Coach Solomon was doing in the corner, talking about uppercuts on the inside. Look, we'd really like to see A.J. Bunker add that in these sequences. Both girls just crashing together every time, not giving each other an inch of space to work. Nice, shove, nice short uppercut in tight from Elbrook there. You know, what we saw in O.J. Rose and Ashley Raxa was a closely contested phone booth fight. This is looking like that. If I'm either of these women, I gotta think, hey man, make some statements, put some exclamation points. You don't know how the judging is gonna go. You also gotta punish them on their way in. I mean, Elbrook is the shorter fighter. If she has the opportunity to land a nice counter shot while A.J.'s, you know, neutralizing her own reach at this point. This referee is very tough, warning them both now. I think he said, this is boxing, not holding. <laughs> I do agree. <laughs> oh! Right hand scored for L. Nick! Nice fight! Great 
but they're both so close together, even when they land a punch, it's not extended. They're smothering it. Absolutely, there's not really much sting when you're crowding your own punch like that. I will say, this is a ref of very few words. I'm waiting for the referee to throw a punch. He's getting pissed. <laughs> and right back to the clinch we go. Well, not aesthetically pleasing, that's for sure. It's a dog fight right in the trenches. Round two, done. The Zone is your home for NFL Game Pass. Catch every playoff game as the race to the Super Bowl reaches the divisional round this weekend live, except in the U.S. and Canada. A couple replays here from round number two. El Brook with an excellent cross over the top, but Riley, a lot of this round holding, clinching in those 50-50 spots. Absolutely, and it's really, really tough to judge a fight like this, right? How do you score who's winning when there's barely any big punches being scored? I will say, I think Elbrook is doing a little bit better inside tight. Have to agree. If I'm AJ Bunker, round three, let's stay at range, and let's start popping. Let's start popping. 100%. The referee telling Elbrook, boxing, clean boxing. <laughs> Not just boxing, he wants clean. No dirty boxing, Todd. You know what, honestly, I kind of respect it. At this point, he's really put his foot down. He says, no, I want a boxing match. Oh, oh, he's get away that from might him. have been a knockdown. That she might have been a She stumbled, he hit her on her ear. That should have been a knockdown, referee. Look at her. Wow, the referee missed that one. That was a clean knockdown right behind the ear. She sat her down. Elbrook. Right after her. Right hand, unloading. Brooke with a moment on the champion. Ref separation again, AJ Bunker. Sorry, AJ Bunker was <laughs> desperately holding there. If I'm El Brooke, start to put the gas pedal down. Big collision. Another big right hand landed there. I think, I think AJ's still suffering from that first right hand. I don't think she's all there right now. She just looks a little discombobulated. Are you seeing that in her body? Yeah, 100%. She's grabbing for desperation at this point. It seems like when they're not clinching, Elbrook has clearly got the sharper, more accurate punches. If I'm Elbrook, separate, unload right here. Final minute of round three. Let's go, El. Get back to the fundamentals of boxing. I mean, we haven't really got to see who's actually more skilled in the sport of boxing. And at range, it might be Elbrook. AJ Bunker. Seems like she's recovered a little bit more, admittedly, but still clinching, colliding right in the center. I say, too, it's looking like a bit more fatigue on the face oh. of AJ Bunker, whereas El Brooks looking in shape. That right hand scored for L. This is a good round for her. Oh! oh! Big right hand, and I don't think AJ's going to get her! AJ Bunker got hit with a nuke right there. Absolutely sat down with a huge right hand. Will she make the count? It's not looking and good. It's over! is the new X-Series Misfits middleweight champion! Unreal. What a victory. As the referee said at the start of that round, this is box <laughs> clean boxing. And with clean boxing, Elbrook got it done. And you give clean KOs, Riley. That was fantastic from the challenger. Sitting down on the right hand. That's led her to so much success in the scene. And now she wins the belt with it. I'll tell you one thing, guys. I haven't seen a women's misfit fighter sit someone down like that. That oh. was incredible. This night has been full of finishes, most of them spectacular. That one sits right there with it. Misfits 12. We're kicking off 2024 with the bank. And hey, maybe our fans were right. The voting was, what, 81% <laughs> for El Brook, and they got it right. Boom! And I still believe AJ was not right after earlier in the round taking the right hand. Wow, you could just see no one's home right there. Slumps forward. L touched with that left and then brought the right behind it. And man, I mean, that is just beautiful work. Absolutely. And I think that there was some cardio that went into that too, right? It looked like L was definitely a much pressure fighter. But the footwork of L Brook was very underrated and she didn't get to show it until right at the end. And once she had that space, she really showed the development and improvements she made. Great sportsmanship between these two, really settling the beef.
There's an intriguing super middleweight matchup next Saturday, January 27th, in the desert, Phoenix, Arizona. The unbeaten Jaime Munguia takes on John Ryder. Should be an all-action showdown one week from tonight. Hey, they're friends again. I know you're relieved, <laughs> Ben. You were so upset about that. I, you know, sometimes bad blood, it hurts my feelings. I love to see people come together and really bury the hatchet, Riley. This was a fiery, uh, you know, fight week between them, and I'm good to see there's hugs at the end. Absolutely. I mean, there's no better way to bury the hatchet than to absolutely beat the crap out of each other. That's exactly <laughs> what we just saw there. Oh. All right. We'll make it official now with Huss. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, the official time, one minute and 56 seconds of round number three. Your winner by way of knockout and the new Women's Misfits Boxing Middleweight World Champion. And